Hey everybody, Hello. Jams with Sam here, celebrating my birthday today, a fellow by the name of Johnny Thunders. Um, Jams with Sam brought to you by the, the official non-paying sponsor Sturgill Simpson today, <laughs> and the MRH Blue Devils Youth Sports. <laughs> so, what to say? One of the themes of today, uh, because we're going to do two songs, one by Johnny Thunders, one I'm going to just hold as a surprise for now that we'll play second. Um, but kind of the theme today is those that have turned us on to music, um, opened our eyes to new things. Um, so, like with that in mind, I, uh, reflecting on that, I was thinking of people like Bob Lozinski, and Steve Jones, Chad Dobbs, Keith Conant, Bob Hartzell. Uh, the list really goes on. Tim Bedhaas, Brian White. The, lift, the list for me goes on. It's infinite of people that have opened my eyes, turned me on to music. Um, and that's why we're going to play in our second song, um, a song by someone that turned me on to Johnny Thunders. Believe it or not, I wasn't really, I wasn't uh, introduced much to the New York Dolls or Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers until, uh, until the second song we're going to play, till that artist kind of turned our attention towards him, oddly enough. So anyway, we really like playing songs that are the lead-off song on an album, don't we? So, for some reason, we pick songs that are the first song on an album. And um, so anyway, Johnny Thunders was basically the Keith Richards to the New York Dolls, if you will. Guitar player, songwriter, resident, addict, unfortunately. Um, which, um, which, by the way, one of the best things about playing music with Sam is it really is an anti-drug theme. If you, <laughs> am I right? How many people do we talk about or play that aren't with us anymore for, for unfortunate reasons like that? So, anyway, I digress. So Johnny Thunders also, after um, splitting up from the New York Dolls, um, played formed another band um, with an awful lot of really key people from New York and uh, in that scene and started a band called the Heartbreakers. Um, oddly enough, they were an opening act for the Sex Pistols in England on the Sex, one of the Sex Pistols tours or maybe their first or only tour and whatever and then, then they broke up. But basically they broke up in the middle while, while the Heartbreakers were touring with the Sex Pistols. And, uh, but anyway, during that time period, um, Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers recorded an album um, called L-M-A-F, Loud as a L-A-M-F, and uh, anyway, it's a great album, we're going to play the first song off of that album, um, as we say before, we like the first songs on albums, it really, really invites you to the rock show, um, with some loudness, so, enough talking for me, thanks for the music, Johnny, uh, we appreciate you, ready? Enjoy.
job, Sam. Did you hear the boy in the background vocals there? Of course. Okay, now we're going to play a song uh, off the first Bash and Pop album. The first song off the first Bash and Pop album. That's Tommy Stinson's band, in case you don't know. Check out that record, Friday Night is Killing Me. It's a, it's a classic. I would say it's the best rock and roll album produced in the 90s. Sorry, grunge. I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Great album. And to Tommy, thank you. A um, couple things there. reason why we're playing the Tommy song is uh, he turned my attention towards Johnny Thunders. Um, and then particularly that, uh, that Heartbreakers album. And in two weeks, Sam and I will see Tommy, who's touring with his Uncle Chip, and they're playing uh, a gig called The Cowboys and the Campfire. We're going to see him in a small, small kind of house show kind of thing. So we're really excited about seeing him. Right? You and me. It's kind of tuned. Pause for the cause. Tune because you care. Playing a slightly more persnickety guitar. But it's a really awesome guitar. It's just a little, maybe in need of a setup. A little person that could do so. You don't want me to hear me play it. Oh! <laughs> Ready, Sam? Okay.
Well, you were great. The persnickety guitar was a little, I don't know, out of tune, possibly. <laughs> Could you tell? Could you? Who cares? If it was too loud, who cares about that, too? That was fun. Let's play it again. Ha, <laughs>